There were just some morning doves that came. Morning doves, they're easily hit by the red-tailed hawks and smaller hawks, kestrels, that come around here and they but they, they need to drink water and there's there's a place where they can get water here. And uh, uh, about four of them just came around to real tentatively attempting to get to the water. That's the strike zone. Uh, every few days I find a lot of morning dove feathers around that so just indicates one has been carried off. And uh, so they came around and they don't talk much. They don't talk like the songbirds. And I wondered if maybe they speak telepathically. And uh, uh, something scared them, and they all took off at once. You know how it is? It's kind of a soft flutter of wings for the morning doves. And what they were saying on the telepathic plane, all together, all at once, they were saying, uh, let's get out of here. Not a terrible fright of something, but more like, the murmur of, of a small group's concern for itself. That songbird up there it's saying I'm speaking to, to Becky right now. I guess that's the lizard. It said, uh, we don't care what you do, you just do what you do. We don't care what you do, you just do what you do. They're the peacekeepers and diplomats of the, of the world today, it looks like. That one just said, we don't, please don't speak of COVID sickness. But the one before it said, we don't care what you do. I think this has to do with their different lifestyles. And, uh, I think the reptilian race is more uh, savage than the bird race right now. Both will will eat other types of beings, but just I feel that the the light of the birds is is whiter or brighter than the light of the of the reptiles, and uh, I noticed that uh, in the picture that. That author that was so good, the author of, who felt that Ra was the blue avian race, uh, did another picture of, of a reptilian race. And you could tell the difference of the light between the two races very clearly. They're trying to persuade the, uh, did you hear that? They're trying to persuade the reptiles to be more like the gophers. They, uh, don't be so predatory, Vecker say. Dear me, dear me, they're asking them to be more like the gophers. I guess they're, I have to hear what the rep, what the reptiles are saying one of these days. It's like the uh, the songbirds and are the teachers of these these other species. Could that be? Now that was a sura. It was flying along with that airplane just then, and it said.
I was going on. It was saying, God damn it, I do not want you to talk to those beings. And then it pointed to me. I said, who? And it pointed to me, and, it, and pretty surly, too. And it said, God damn it, I do not want you to talk to those beings. You. <laughs> A Sura went by, they're flying about with the airplanes, no doubt because of the um, the motor noise. It's very dense and dark and misqualified. Yeah, they like it with that. And the Suras, uh, you know, I, I can't make the comparison yet between uh, esoteric lore of ancient India and, and what I'm hearing right now. There's some very big being what I would call a, like a megasura. <laughs> you know, the suras and the asuras, and the suras are like power over beings, and the asuras are more like love and light, you know, different. And for a while I thought, well, during this uplifting conversation that I've been undertaking with the songbirds today, for a while I thought, Maybe the suras have to do with the reptiles, and maybe the asuras have to do with the birds. But this being that I heard is like a very big being. It seems like um, a dark overlord. I bet they're different still, another race. That I asked the songbirds just now what they look like, these beings that fly with the... Okay, these, they said a couple of things. They're really big and they change shape. And I asked if they looked like humanoid and they said that they change shape. And or actually I projected a visual image of humanoid and asked if it was that and they said uh, they changed shape and then they said they're saying in a kind of a razzmatazz voice kind of a jeering voice uh, imitating these large beings they said um, you can say uh, may you die of COVID and then they'll say dear me <laughs> And they repeated that several times for emphasis. So they're offering the opposite advice of this very large being that's flying around with the airplanes. 